Hello again guys, it's Kasim. Welcome back again to my channel. I hope you're doing alright. So in this video what I wanted to talk a little bit about is I wanted to talk about what my problem is with a manosphere, with the blue pill content, with red pill content, with black pill content. Um, I hope something that I share with you today can add some value to the quality of your life. I hope that maybe something that I share with you today can trigger you in some way to think about an aspect of your life to help you um, get onto your path of becoming the highest, fullest expression of who you're capable of becoming. Um, but before we get into that, guys, um, if you want to help me get to a thousand subscribers by June, which I'd absolutely love if you can do, please can you like and subscribe to my channel um, to help me get to that thousand subscribers? I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to like and click the notification button as well. Okay, cool. So um, I wrote down about four things here that I wanted to talk to you about regarding my problem with the manosphere, with uh, with blue pill content, with red pill content. Um, and as I say, I hope that it adds some value to the quality of your life. Okay, so one of the first things that I really wanted to talk to you about is about extremes. In fact, I wrote down that be aware of extremes. So I have spent a lot of time studying people who have gone down the dark side of life. People like Idi Amin, people like Hitler, people like Mussolini. And my question has always been, what leads a normal person down the dark side of life, right? I think you'll agree with me in saying that every single person has to be a born to a woman, right? Every, in order for a child to be born, it, the child has to come out of a woman. And my question has always been, between them being born to when they do something catastrophic like involve themselves in genocide, uh, you know, uh, denigrate people's, uh, people's um, inabilities, cage people, trap people, manipulate people. I wanted to know what the hell happened. And one of the things that happens along the way is that they're introduced to extreme ideologies. They're introduced to a, a, a belief system, a certain paradigm in which they come to the conclusion that this is the solution. This is the only way in order to achieve something. If, if, if it isn't this way, then anything that opposes this must be demolished. Anything that opposes this must be crushed. And the issue that I have um, with the manosphere and the blue pill content um, is and, 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 and all the different types of content that's out there, uh, particularly in the manosphere, is that most of this information is extreme ideologies. Most of this information isn't there um, as a suggestion. Um, it isn't there portrayed by people in such a way that it says, look, this is basically what we believe. This is what's worked for me. This has been the truth for me. What do you think? take some of the things that are best for you and apply it to you. But actually, the way it is, is it's driven in such a way that it is portrayed to the average person as this is the only way. If you don't do it this way, then you're an, a simp. If you don't do it this way, then you're an idiot. But the reality of life is that, um, that you've got to... I remember I've, many years ago, I read something which says that you've got to have a mind which is open to everything and is attached to nothing. Meaning that you want to have a multiplication of different mentors, of different ideologies. And, and, so, and, and to take it a step further, what you want to do is try and take the best bits of all of these, but not everything in its entirety, right? When you become an extremist, what ends up happening is you take everything and you take it literally as it is. That's like people who are uh, extremists in Islam. Let's just take that as uh, an example. The issue that they have is they take the Quran and they literally live it out word to word. But they don't have wisdom enough to say, actually, that isn't really practical. Actually, that's going to cause me a bit of problem problems in my life. For example, one of the issues that I particularly have is that uh, which I have is about the f framing okay framing is really really important but the issue that you have is if you take framing literally to the word literally as it's been portrayed by the manosphere what's gonna what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna lose a lot of relationships because essentially you've always got to be in control everything is about you and actually from a counseling perspective obviously you know I was studying to be a counselor from a counselling perspective, that's actually a, a very narcissistic 
space to be living in. That is coming from ego, right? Because actually, and, and when we take it and we look at leadership, for example, leadership is about knowing when to use something. A wise person has, the, has knowledge, they have information, they have influence, they have contacts, but they take it out when it's appropriate. The issue is, if you spend all your time trying to maintain the frame, maintain the frame, you're not even focusing on the other person, you're not even listening to the other person. So I guess the first thing that I really wanna share with you is, be very careful about anyone who tells you that this is the only way, this is the way it has to be done. And the thing is, you've got to remember that when it comes to, because I've studied a lot of extremism and a lot of people turn to the dark side of life, You've got to remember that the way you turn somebody into a, um, onto the, dark, the path of going to the extreme side of life is that you find people who are vulnerable. So the issue that you have with the manosphere is a lot of guys are vulnerable. When they come forward, it's because they want something and they can't figure out any other way to get it. And so actually when they come into the manosphere, it's like, oh my God, this is the solution to my problems. But actually, it isn't about taking that extreme route. It's about looking at your life, looking at what other people have said. Look around you at your brother. Look around you at your grandparents. Look around you at your neighbors. Look at the people in your workplace. Maybe they have aspects of things that really work, right? Not just simply listen to somebody who is online who's telling you this is the absolute way to do something and they're not giving you any other perspective. That's the first thing that I would share with you. The other thing that I also... Um, uh, wanted to talk about which is a difficult truth so I have a concept which I believe which I articulate to people as an inconvenient truth an inconvenient truth is something that you learn which you don't really want to hear it's it, it's inconvenient it, it's it doesn't align with the goals that you want one of the inconvenient truths about the manosphere and the blue pill content and the red pill content is that most people are not going to make it Right. If you take it as so many people in the uh, in the in, in, in the content in the, in these con who produces content give it to you, about ten percent of people make it. Okay. About ten people, ten percent of people become successful to a high degree. About ten percent of people maintain the frame. About a hundred ten percent of guys are in that space where they are attracting women. Here's the issue. That means eighty percent of the people are not going to make it. That means if you've got a thousand people who are listening to that content, right, a hundred of, uh, a about a hundred, two hundred of them are, are going to make it, but eight hundred are not going to make it. And the reality is that the majority, everybody thinks of the, the anomaly. Everybody thinks that they are this special one. Everybody thinks that they're going to be the one to break the rule. And so what I want to share with you is, as much as, of course, it is important to work on yourself, as much as it is important for you to develop yourself, to uh, push your capacities right to its edges and uh, to try and pursue greatness and achieve self-excellence and self-development, a certain aspect of your life has to also be strategic in that there is a time in your life when you've got to say, do you know what? I've got to be strategic about my life. I'm probably not going to make it. And let me tell you how I learned this. My, my brother plays for England, football, under, uh, under 21s. And Bashir said to me, Kasim, uh, so basically we were at St. George's Park um, and we were talking, I was speaking to him about all these people and I was like, God, Bashir, there's a lot of players here. How are all of these people going to make it into playing in the Premier League? Because there's not that many, right? Because I was saying there's Chelsea Football Academy, there's Liverpool Football Academy, there's all these academies which have thousands of kids, but in the Premier League there's only so many footballers. So where what's going to happen to the rest of these kids? And Bashir said to me, Kasim, most of them are not going to make it. Most of these kids are going to go by the wayside, right? And he said, at some point, because I was asking him, so what makes the difference between the people who do make it and the people who don't make it? Bashir said to me, Kasim, the people who make it take things to a whole different level. But he said to me, there are some people who realize, actually, I'm probably not going to make it. I'm probably not going to get to play in the World Cup. I'm probably not going to get picked by a club. And so they start aligning their life in a slightly different direction. They may go back to start, go back to university. They may start studying to become a surveyor. 
Meaning that sometimes in life you have to be strategic in that if you're not going to get the higher goal, at least you can go for something which is equivalent. So for example, if clearly you want to go and play football at the highest levels and you want to play in the World Cup, but you get injured, look, you can still take it and become a coach. This is what I talk about being strategic. You still get to play football, you're still involved with football, you can still take it to the highest levels, you're still working with people. Sometimes you've got to reframe and reposition what your goals are. And, and I say this to you because some of you are not going to make it. Some of you are going to spend your life trying to pursue this lifestyle, trying to pursue this goal, trying to pursue living in that kind of way, but you're not, you're not even going to get to 20 to 30% of that. I, I, and so I say that to you because I just want you to think about that. Because, for example, if you are, let's say, let's say you try it and you try living this kind of lifestyle, but you're 32 years of age and you, you've been doing this for the last six years, you've got to start thinking strategically and think, hold on a minute, I'm, 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 I want kids. I want a missus. I need to find somebody. If I don't make this for another 10 years, I'm going to be in my 40s. So... That means if I find somebody in my 40s, I'm probably not going to have kids until I'm maybe 42, 43. Like, do you see what I mean? That then decreases my chances of also having kids. I get it. Men can have kids whenever they want. But do you understand? That means for between my 30s and 40s, I'm going to be alone, right? Now, do you, do you see what I'm saying? You, you've got to just think about this stuff strategically. And so you might have to say, actually, do you know what? I'm going to go and work another job that genuinely or can pay good money and I can find and is stable but on the weekends I'm gonna just focus on my passion I'm gonna find somebody who can who is in the arena that I'm interested in uh, or the area that I'm passionate about that I want to build my business and I want to excel in so that she can support me do you see what I mean but you have to be strategic about this kind of stuff so that's one of the other things the other thing that I also wanted to attach to that, which I think is really important, is about the amount of us who are spending time consuming rather than being productive. There's a lot of you guys who are, cons like, and you may be one of those, where you're consuming a lot of content, you're listening, you're listening, you're listening, you're listening, you're listening, which is really important. But then there comes a time when you have to take what you've learned and you have to apply it. A solicitor is not made when they go to university. A solicitor is made when they go out into the field and they start actually practicing law. A plastic surgeon is not made when they're in medical school. A plastic surgeon is made when they go out and actually start applying the, uh, the knowledge and the skills that they've learned in a practical sense, in, in a theoretical sense, right? You can't improve and you can't get better, and particularly when it comes to skill acquisition and skill refinement, until you actually apply this stuff. And some of you are spending so much time listening, listening, consuming, 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 to the degree where you're spending, like every day, you're spending eight hours a day consuming this Manosphere content, but you're spending 15 minutes applying this stuff, right? So, I very strongly believe, and, and it's something that I, I just think about it for yourself, right? Are you actually applying this stuff, right? So, for example, in a minute, I'm just about actually to do a video about a guy called Dan Brazilian. And one of the things that I talk about in that, and I'm going to be talking about, is that Dan Brazilian, whilst most people love his lifestyle, most people don't understand that Dan Brazilian spent a decade a decade succeeding in his air in, in in poker before he was able to live that kind of lifestyle most people love david beckham and he's bought a football team and he's got all these brands working for wh who which he works for most people don't understand david beckham spent like 20 years uh, playing football excelling in football trying to get really 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 good at football and then the opportunities came do you see what I'm saying to you? So don't focus so much on consuming, consuming. You just go out and try things. And you know the other really important thing about this is that sometimes in life, you're going to find, and I've actually found this um, in my own life, which is why I only treat, teach about principles and laws, is that a lot of the time what worked for other people may not necessarily work for you. That's really important because... 
It's something that I, there is a reason why I only talk about things that are universal, that are principles, that are laws. Why? Because laws are indisputable. Here's a problem. Some of the information that you're being given is just information, it's just knowledge, it's not principles. And here's a problem. Principles work for everybody. Information doesn't always work for everybody because we interpret information differently, we apply the dif information differently. So the only way to know what actually works, what doesn't work, um, <clears throat> the only way to take information and then tailor it to yourself and see which one suits you is you've got to apply it. You've got to actually get, mu get dirty. You've got to go out there and fail. So I don't know, maybe you disagree with me, but I'd love to have a conversation. You can comment below and tell me what you think. Um, the last thing that I wanted to share with you, which I think is really important, is does, does the people who you're listening to, does their life match what they say? I talk, uh, here's what I wrote down, revolution versus refinement. So what I mean by that is, I think it's really, really important when you are taking information from people to observe their life and actually say, is it working for them? Are they happy? Are they fulfilled? Is, is, hold on a minute, I know this is shiny and it sounds wonderful and it sounds exciting and it feel, fulfills m my need right now, but is this really actually right? It, does this really work for me? Is this the right way to live life? Right? And I say that to you because there is a lot of people in the manosphere who what the things that they talk about are things that they talk about as a result of their as, as a result of having lived life and then they've come up with a conclusion not what they would have had and would have known when they're in their 20s meaning look it is absolutely important for you to get lessons from other people and to learn from other people but it's actually more important that you learn your own lessons right it is. You should 100% learn from other people, see what works, see what doesn't work. But it's equally, in fact, even more, I would say, I'll put it as 60% more important that you get your own information, that you learn from your own mistakes, right? And, and, and I say this to you because you really need to really observe stuff. There's a lot of people who create stuff that they don't actually live by. There are people who talk about... Um, being an alpha, who talk about uh, the one who's dominant, they talk about being alone, yet they have been married for 15 to 20 years. And you've got to be really careful and say, hold on a minute, why are you telling me this and yet what you're living is completely different? Why is that? Why is there this disparity? And I say this to you, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is why you've really got to internalize this. You've got to question this. This is why I say this leads, you've got to be very careful with extremes because it leads you down a path where you're like, where you can easily get lured into what looks shiny, what looks wonderful, what kind of reaffirms what you already believe, but it isn't the truth. It isn't the right thing. I'm telling you that it's absolutely wonderful for you to maintain the frame, but if you're in a relationship and you're constantly the alpha, you're constantly the dominant one, you're constantly the one who's got to be right, you're con it's either got to be your way or the highway, how are you going to maintain a marriage like that? It's just not going to happen, right? It's all about you. It's all about ego. And so you've got to look at people and actually look at, hold on a minute, I know this is the way they are when they're producing content, but is this how they are in real life? Is this the experience that their their neighbor has with them? Is this the experience that their um, that their teammates have with them? Is this the experience that our co-workers have with them? Is this the experience that their spouse has with them? Is this the experience that they have with their children? It's just something for you to think about, right? So I'll leave it there. Actually, let me go back a minute. Part of that is wisdom. Part of that is wisdom, and it's really the point that I, I guess is really the whole umbrella of what I really wanted to articulate, is that you've got to develop your own wisdom. And wisdom can only be achieved through actually applying stuff, reflecting on it, looking at other people, looking at their mistakes and your mistakes, adding everything together and then saying, ah, okay, this is what's right for me. 
But the issue is you can't be wise when you simply only take the information that other people have of you because it may not work for you. It may not be applicable for you. It may not be true to who you are, right? So I hope that kind of um, has added value to you. I don't know whether you agree with me. I don't know whether you disagree with me. I'd love to, let's have a conversation. Comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you want to help me get to 1,000 subscribers by June, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'd be a legend. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. I know the video went on for a bit longer than usual, and I shall speak to you soon. See you later. Bye.